Did you hear anything I said? No. <laughs> <laughs> And welcome everyone, it's your boys, I'm Zero. Yo, it's uh, Nanus on this side. Yep, and uh, we're uh, we're drinking coffee in uh, Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth Hacker's Memory. Oh man, I love video games because they allow me to do things I'm not supposed to do, so fuck yeah, drinking coffee. Uh, I'm sure it's good coffee. What exactly? What exactly are we? Uh, what's on the itinerary today? What's what are we doing today? Well, first let me do a little bit of shopping. Okay. Now, so export instantly returns party to the dungeon entrance. Escape Sounds from easy. battle. I'm pretty sure we're gonna need those at some point. Uh, we have a few of those. We have a lot of those. Let me buy one of these. One of these. Maybe give it to our little Tentomon. You know, power them up a little bit. Make sure that when we beat uh, those uh, those uh, those enemies, you know, we really give them a pounding. Yeah, mm -hmm. could do that. Uh, yeah, I over I overall really like the design of Tentomon. I don't know, uh, just a cool combination of the color: big green, big bug-eyed, green eyes, and you know, just a red shell. It's pretty cool. Also, so wait, I mean, we haven't seen too much uh, just yet, because really we've done a lot of questing and kind of in the overworld, but not so much of the battles. Do you get to hear the voices of the Digimon? Uh, not really. Oh, we can give them goggles. Look at that shit. <laughs> nice. You know what? I'm giving him the goggles. I gave him the Tactician USB because it's gonna double his uh, well not double Games. but it's gonna increase the XP. So yeah, more EXP the better. You know what I mean? Yeah. But goggles are pretty cool too. Let's give that a quick save. Wow, it's only four episodes and we're a hundred hours in. Man, I wish every playthrough we could be this efficient. Are you kidding me? I wish. All right, uh, let's get in the PC. Man, I really spent over a hundred hours in the original. You really did, huh? It doesn't feel like it, that's the thing. <laughs> it never does. While we're playing this, I'm actually editing the episode that came before. Okay. Uh, and, uh... Well, there's that, there's that TSG efficiency. Indeed. And, uh, yeah. We left off with having to go to Eden to meet up with the, that girl that tried to kill us. Cool. With her freaking teddy bear thingy. Not teddy bear, the freaking whale, whatever it's called. Oh yeah, the whale, the hacker. Yes. So, here we are at the Eden login screen. So, first option is obviously log out. And here we have the Eden entrance. So, that's where we need to go. Oh, nice. Eden's main entrance, a public space used by most of Eden's users. I don't see Erica anywhere. She should have gotten here but before me. She didn't want to show up to the digital library on time. It does look like a library. I thought the same thing when I played the original Cyber Sleuth. Or, or a museum or something. Yeah, it does also remind me... All it's missing are the two lions that are in front of the uh, <laughs> museum in... Uh, 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 here in Manhattan, New York. No. Yeah. I remember we got something. Yeah, there we go. You took a tissue flyer. Here's a gift for you. Home gate, export. Wow, and I just bought some of that crap too. <laughs> There's a yeah. shiny thing, look. Inside is 2020. Ooh, a shiny thing, where? I just grabbed it, didn't you see? Yeah, I did. Now that you mentioned it. <laughs> All right, so I'm pretty sure you see, you know, up ahead, up the stairs, to the left and to the right, there are people with lock uh, icons above their heads. Yeah. The game is basically telling you, talk to them. I'm off to the bank, then the post office, then the cinema. Eden has made things so convenient. And now we can ask her about Erica. A girl? 
I don't know. I haven't gotten. I haven't got time for this. You, you know. Sh- this, go ahead. Yeah. This environment, it just makes it look to me like this looks like a menu for Wipeout or something. It's just so digital and so futuristic and clean. I love the clean nature and digitalness of it. It's actually very oh. nice. Yeah, it is. You're looking for a friend. I haven't seen anyone around here. Have you tried another area? Free area URL. Okay. Well, apparently I found the right guy to talk to on my second try. So it looks like the others... Yeah, they're gone. They just disappeared. Dude, oh, what's look! That? It's a little Poyomon. And can't I can't interact with it. No, I can't. I'm, I'm mashing the X button. It's just there. I guess it's that's it's supposed to like. Yeah, yeah, I guess it's just supposed to show us like yeah, they're everywhere. You just don't always notice them. Mm-hmm. I think. Kind of blended in because of all the cleanness and it's such a light color. If it wasn't just a little ghost that was moving and had a face, you probably wouldn't even notice it. Hmm. So Digimon in this game also have personalities, and right. that's going to come in handy when we want them to digivolve into certain Digimon down the line. So I have to remember that those are there. How does that play a role in their digievolution? So let's say let's say Tentomon. We want him to digivolve into not Kabuterimon, someone else. But we need his speed to go up. Um, for his speed to go up faster, we might need to change his personality to maybe Builder or Searcher or something like that. Mm-hmm. So that's one way it could help. And if I remember correctly, I think certain evolutions require certain personalities, so that right. might be it. Oh god, I like this. This looks nice. Well, we still haven't done too much uh, too much fighting yet. We haven't gotten into a lot of combat. I think they're really just trying to get the story in place. Yeah. I don't see Erica anywhere. What in the world? Oh no. Whoa. She's coming to get us. Nanner, she's coming to get us. Oh no. Where's her whale? Why is she outside in slippers? Oh, and the whale's on her shoulder. How long have I been here? Um, since you logged into Eden. Let no one to catch your attention. Wait, what? Okay, silence, I get it. Well, let's go check the malware Chitosa talked about. Yeah, there's still obviously a lot of awkwardness between them. Yeah, for sure. She doesn't seem to be like the most sociable person on the planet. No. Malware is a special virus program made by executing a process on Digimon programs. That kind of... That kind of programming's always been Chitosa's forte. Area surveillance, scanners, logs of users passing through. These little guys are installed all around Eden, each with their own special skills. My brother thought up My brother thought up this method since waiting for a case to come in before gathering info already puts us behind schedule. If these malware show the slightest abnormality, they'll be caught by security, so maintenance is absolutely necessary. I'm not saying Chitosa's programming is shabby or anything. It's just that Eden's admin team is comprised of the best engineers, plus there are brilliant hackers in other teams like Zaxxon. There's even that identif- There's even that unidentified hacker, Mr. Navit, around. So we've got to be extra careful. Did you hear anything I said? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Freaking Keisuke's a complete, total, like, mood. I like programs, the digital world, Eden. In this world, I'm... I'm free. And you? Do you like Eden? I'm pretty sure we like it, don't we? I've been enjoying my time in Eden so far. I'd yeah, we back. definitely like it. 
I definitely consider it a, a I wouldn't consider it a tourist hotspot, but I would oh, not at all. Here. Oh, what the? Got someone's memory? Oh, shit. Analyzing and browsing the memory data, commonly called hacker's memories. So there we go. That's the title of the game. We're done, everyone. Good night. Fine. Finally, we can we can do our ratings. Uh, all right, I'll give this uh, four whales out of five. <laughs> so now I understand why they call it hacker's memory. Well, now we all understand it. Because that, that always seemed like a weird title to me. I mean, I, I guess it does kind of make sense because memory is such an important part to computers. You know, we, we were literally off, off uh, you know, prior to recording just talking about memory because it's so important to us and what we do. So I wouldn't say it's so far fetched, but yeah, it definitely was a strange title when I was like, hey, Zero. And he's like, yeah. And I'm like, so uh, what's the next playthrough that we're playing? And he's like, uh, we're playing Digimon Cyber Sleuth. Hacker's memory, and I'm just like, whoa, that's a lot of words. That's a huge title. Dude, are you how's, kidding me? <laughs> how's that gonna fit on YouTube? <laughs> a lot of people just shorten it to Digimon Hacker's memory, and I do that often. Yeah. Um, so I think that's what I'm gonna continually do, unless I feel yeah. like being an asshole. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's one of those things that I find kind of funny because even in Japan, Japanese people understand and they joke around and say shit like, yo, why do these anime titles have to be so fucking long? Like, I don't know if you've noticed, but Japanese anime titles are ridiculously long and even- Oh, I know. And even Japanese uh, anime fans make fun of it all the time. Bro, I, you, go to, you go to any uh, fighting game based arcade and you ask like the first person you see, hey, what's your favorite fighting game? Oh, I like Tekken. Oh, I like Street Fighter. Or I like Marvel, which is just shortened of, you know, Marvel vs. Capcom. I like Marvel. Uh, there's this cool anime fighter that I like. It's called Dengeki Bunko Fighting Climax. I'm like, you guys couldn't have just picked, like, two words or acronym turn into, like, a, you know, acronym or something? Dude, it, it's it's a little ridiculous. I remember seeing... I think, I think, the, I think the English name of it is... Uh, is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon? But the Japanese uh, title is even longer than that. Like it has all those words, but plus like a, like four other words. You you know what that you know what that br brings me back to, and I can't help but always talk about him because, I mean, he's his work has been so important, obviously, for both of us and anybody that really really anybody that does video game content, especially let's plays on YouTube. But that AVGN did a great. Uh, series on Castlevania and he was talking about Rondo of Blood which I guess here is just called Castlevania Rondo of Blood or some people just say Rondo of Blood and he mentioned the Japanese title and it was like twice as long so it's it's just so it's you just come to expect it at this point I, I, I find it hilarious me too uh, again being from the west being from the US the last thing we want someone to do is remember 10 words for a title like yeah. you want it to be quick and rem and like rememberable yes rememberable <laughs> all right so i wasn't paying too much attention to what she was saying uh at any rate i just wanted to tell you what your job is if you get it if you get it then hurry and come along so one of the options was oh so i'm a meat shield so yeah. I guess that's what we're we're gonna help her collect whatever it is we need to collect. Okay. All right. So I'm guessing these guys are the uh, malware, or like malware in disguise. Right. So that's why it's kind of there. Mm-hmm. Okay. So maybe it wasn't so cute after all. Maybe it was more malicious. Hmm. And now, come to think of it, it's not like we exactly see a lot of Digimon all over the place here. Not at all. It's just that one. Yeah. There we go. We got a new area of Eden. It is nice that the game does kind of summarize after that text, like, uh, you know, where to go. Because, I mean, it's not, it's not that we got really got something against reading. 
obviously for let's plays it does kind of slow the place the pace of an episode but i think a lot of the time with rpgs and developers know this is players have a tendency to skip dialogue because they just kind of want to get to the next game part no so no absolutely it's, it's yeah nice. yeah it's nice for them to kind of wrap it up by saying like okay so yeah just just go over here because you know x y or z Absolutely, I completely agree. I mean, dude, back in the day on the Game Boy, I skipped through all the dialogue in Pokemon. 100%. I did not give a shit. But I would constantly well, lost? be lost. Yeah, okay. I thought so. I would constantly be lost. It was... Yeah, me too. Me too. Alright, so here's another malware, but this one is uh, not okay. Uh-oh. Alright, so I guess we need to talk to this bitch. A uh, naive woman, my friend says she met the purple maned witch of cyberspace in Kowloon and got her fortune told. I'm sure it's all fake, but if there were someone like that out there, I'd like to meet them. I hear those readings are pretty spot on. Alright, so we gotta talk to people. I hear there's some kind of hidden room in, the, in Kowloon and people just suddenly go missing. Like some kind of Eden Triangle or something. Uh, I guess like the Bermuda Triangle. Okay. By the way, do you believe that? You believe I mean, that? I don't fucking know. You want to try it? Let's let's charter a plane. Let's fly over the Bermuda Triangle during a storm. Let's see how Hell it goes. Hell no. Hell no. I thought you didn't believe in that shit. What happened? I don't feel like starring in the next the next uh, Uncharted movie. Thank I do. Much. Although <laughs> climbing is not my forte, I will say that. I was I was hanging out with uh with Bulb Tastic recently. He said that him and him and our buddy Jigglypuff they both saw um, the Uncharted movie and actually said it wasn't that bad. I was like, huh. Well, yeah. if they just didn't cast Mark Wahlberg as Sully, then I totally would see it. But uh, no, thank you. I mean, I it's out digital now, so I'll likely watch it one of these days. Yeah. Um, I'm willing to give it a shot. Because some people like to be super critical and others are not as critical and I'm kind of one of the guys that's not that critical. Like, you really have to mess up a movie, like, purposefully for me to be like, this is completely bad. Kind of like how they mess up Avatar and Dragon Ball. But then on the flip side, sometimes that kind of situation can actually be like a perfect storm. Uh, pun intended since we were just talking about that but <laughs> i i heard horrible things about the production of of the the super mario brothers movie from oh my yeah friend. he said all sorts of stuff like the director didn't even really know anything about mario for the most part not at all which explains a lot like just so much that is not a mario movie that is a that is a cyberpunk fantasy movie with a little bit of Mario sprinkled in every now and again. <laughs> also, I still don't understand. I mean, don't understand. I, I still find it really dumb that Mario's real name is Mario Mario, and that 100%. Luigi's, and that Luigi's real name is Luigi Mario. I get it because they're both orphans, but it's like he couldn't just have a sec. He couldn't have something else for his last name. <laughs> yeah, I, the reason why they chose that is because they're known as the Mario Brothers. But, you know, what's their last name? Their last name would have to be the same if they were the Mario Brothers. So right. I guess that's the whole joke. Yeah, like if they were the Hernandez Brothers or if they were the, you know, uh, Bergman Brothers or whatever, like just yeah. any two last names. Oh, look, it's a Widow Kitty Cat. We gotta chase the kitty cat, Nanas. Why? Meow, that's no, why, leave, meow. Leave it alone. Leave the cat alone. The cat's just hanging out. But it's a cat in cyberspace. I don't like games where we have to chase cats. It never ends well. All right, so this is very nostalgic to me because, again, I visited this area a lot in the previous game. Wait, th but that wouldn't be nostalgic, though. Nostalgic is from something when you were a little kid. Oh, I guess, or, yeah. Relatively, you know. Actually, I'm really curious about that. Feel free to put this in post because I don't feel like looking it up. I'm lazy, but what is the cutoff for nostalgia? Because nostalgia is literally 
from your childhood. But I think people people are very very gray about where that line ends and include a lot of stuff past their childhood, like into their teenage years and sometimes even later, like high school, you know, college maybe even. I would even say some of our adventures in in uh, in college that we had together, I consider kind of oh, that's nostalgic for me now. But I guess would, that, re would I, that really qualify? You know. Again, uh, I'm gonna look for it and put it in post. By the way, I don't know if you noticed that there's now a black cat as well. I did notice. Yeah, they've multiplied. Yeah, this is actually a reference to uh, someone else in the game, uh, which we'll we'll probably see her soon. Um, but yeah, um, when it comes to nostalgia, I think it's just something that happened in the past. Not in the recent past, I'd say at least five years okay. would probably be a good cutoff because you can remember something from five years ago and be like, that was fun. I had a good time doing that. You could remember that, that is true. Oh my god, I forgot that the whale is her keyboard. Yeah. But then it's also still on her shoulder, so does she just have multiple whales? So the whale there is like a sender and the whale on her shoulder is the receiver. I think that's what she said before. Okay. Logs and traces are encrypted in real time and it repels normal access. In that case... I got it. Okay, go on in. Access granted. User case case starting transmission. What the fuck? Oh, yes. Okay, I know where we are. Huh? Is this a new area of Eden? It looks like the place... It looks like the... It looks like the, the present uh, time timeline from Assassin's Creed. It kind of does. There she is. Bispect spectacled woman beauty wait what why would they use that word bespectacled is that even the word is that because she has glasses yeah uh her name is midei by the way yeah so we're in the digi lab and those two cats are hers all right this th this time I wasn't lazy. I looked it up. It literally just means wearing glass. Someone who wears glass. It's, Get the fuck out I'm bespectacled. I just know. I just learned this today. Wow. Wow. All right. So Nan is. What do you want to learn first? You want to know who she is, or do you want to know what the Digi Lab is? I want to know. Uh, Digi Lab. All right. Uh, this place has a faint connection to the digital world, a paradise for Digimon. As of yet, there is no need to teach you of the digital world. You will learn what you must when the time is right. Wow, she has such an evil smile when saying that. Think of me as the administrator of this place. From here, I've watched over the crossroads of fate, but I didn't expect another fork to appear. I have to admit, even I'm surprised. Well, let's leave it at that. For now, allow me to explain what kind of place this is once more. Oh, don't worry. Just an inside joke. I don't fucking get it. What? Yeah, she seems really fucking dastardly. Really. Uh, she's actually a decent person. That's the thing. She, she's, she's not evil. All Based right. off of her facial expressions, I don't believe you. Wow, <laughs> this place... This really is just the place from... Uh, Assassin's Creed. More green, though. Yeah, I do like that it that it gives that sort of contrast, yeah. because again, Eden and Kowloon they were all blue, and this this place is like a very light green. Yeah. Um. Shit. So yeah, I think this is where you actually go to battle. Yeah, you can oh. network battle here, which I'm not doing. Why not? Because I don't want our little Tentomon to. Uh, Fucking die. <laughs> digi -bash. I know, we could just take him to uh, a, a digi center and heal him up. That's not how that works. No! What? So where did, where did Digimon go when they die? They stay in your party, they just don't do shit. Okay. You can you can heal them and bring them back when you come back to the to the digi lab. 
So what I'm using now is called the Digi Bank. Uh huh. Over here we have the Digi Convert. Uh huh. So these are the Digimon we've run into so far, and as you can see, we have Ponymon at 90% scanned. So I think if we fight it one more time, we could actually create this little guy oh. and uh, Digivolve him into whatever Digimon it allows us to. That's kind of cool. Yeah, so instead of catching, we scan them and then create them and then start leveling up, leveling them up that way. Huh. Um, load Digimon, I believe. Yeah, you can, whatever spare Digimon you have, you can turn them into data and load them into one of your other Digimon to like level them up. Right. And here you can Digivolve them and de-Digivolve them. Let's see what we can do with Tenomon. He's level eight already. So these are the possibilities we have. We can either go into Kabuterimon, Waspmon, Kawagamon, Stingmon, or Sunflowmon. I mean, it looks like none of them are possible if you read. Yeah, it. not not at all, not yet. Uh, for Kabuterimon, we have everything except for uh, no level fourteen. Yeah. For Stingmon, which is another, the other one I would uh, suggest, we have Attack, which is at forty, but we need to be level fourteen, and Speed needs to be at fifty-five. Right. So yeah. And here you can move your Digimon between the farm or the bank itself, where you can just have them stored. And this over here is the farm. Oh, Minecraft. It does kind of look like Minecraft. It does. But or maybe closer, Dr uh, Dragon Quest Builders, if you ever played that. I've heard of it. I wanted to get it on my Vita, but I just didn't. It's basically just Minecraft. So in the farm, you could set up a whole bunch of stuff for your Digimon to interact with. Cool. Oh, I oh, can buy shit here. You mean kind of like the Chow Garden in, uh, in Sonic? Like you just let Precisely. them run the Oh my god, I hated the Chows in Sonic. <laughs> I honestly just hated it because I didn't even feel like dealing with all that crap when I was younger. I just wanted to play more of the story. Oh man, I can't... Dude. And what would... There's those like... You would always find like those those rod uh, those like colorful neon rods uh, all over the place, and it was never the color that I needed it. <laughs> I hated the chows so much. All right, so I think we've done everything we could here. Uh, Perfect. Wait, what? I'm not finished explaining. All right, you want to freaking tell me what's? Oh, there's this mirror dungeon. By using the shortcut gates prepared by Mirei, you can revisit dungeons you have explored in the past. That's right, I remember using this to level up Digimon before. Alright, I think that's it. Seems like you understand the Digilab now. It may seem like a fluke, but there must be some meaning behind your arrival here. Make good use of these facilities, and deepen your interactions with the Digimon. Finally, one last thing, a small token for you. You got a hacking skill. That's right, I had to use these to open up uh, certain areas. Man, this game is deep. It's just a lot of mechanics. Oh no, there is quite a few. There's a reason why people actually really liked this game. Well, these games. All right, so she prepared a URL for us. This is even better. Mm. Because in the previous game, you had to go find a phone or something in order to get in here. In the previous game, your actual physical body could go digital and just go into screens and shit. But we can't do that in this, in this game. The two wheels of fate begin to turn in completely different directions. This may be proof that the world has expanded far beyond my expectations. I'll ascertain the hidden potential of you and your Digimon with my own eyes. Gosh, I don't trust her. I wouldn't trust her with a butter knife. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't trust anybody with a butter knife. Turn my back and her BAM! Goodbye, kidneys. No, oh, I need my kidneys. She's like 100% calm. That's interesting. 
Now she's not freaking out. What? I sent you without knowing where you'd go? Hey, I wanted to go myself, but I kept getting repelled. I lost track of you on Route 2. Give me your log uh, later. I'll try analyzing it. I also want subjective data. What you observed with your own eyes. What, what was over there? Hmm, I see. That's enough. Let's go. Don't I know who that woman is? Not really. My conjecture was pretty much on the ball. So, from your story, I'd have to guess that you met the Cyber Witch. Ah, yeah. She must be a remarkable hacker. Everything adds up if you think of it like that. The reason why we can't perceive the hidden room in cyberspace is because she keeps moving it around. You can't do that in a place like Eden without pro without processors on an enormous scale. It's it's possible for such a thing to exist in Eden. See? They weren't tales of the occult after all. The cat, if we analyze the log, we'll see we'll see it was just a Jeez, think for yourself for once. Okay, who the fuck is screaming? Help me? The fuck? Oh god. Oh, nice. It's a big wasp. Guess the name of the Digimon. It's Waspmon? Yeah. Ha! <laughs> Yeah, I saw it in the thing, in the evolution for Tentamon. That scream came from inside, let's go. We gotta help the little guy in the next episode! <laughs> that's right. right. Let me go ahead and save, because we can save wherever we want. Oh, that's so nice. Wow, we could definitely use that in that other playthrough we're doing, <laughs> but never mind. Indeed. So, yeah, everyone, uh, I guess if you want to see what happens with that little worm on, Wormmon uh, in the next episode. Uh, be sure to tune in because we're out of time. Oh, I want to see what happens. Uh, okay. Well, thanks everyone for watching. Uh, oh, wait, no, this is just a random encounter. Yeah. No, hey, indeed. I remember this guy. Yeah. But again, yes, as Nanners are saying, thanks for watching, everyone. Please tune in next time and uh, you'll see what happens. Yeah, it's going to be exciting. Yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you there. Till next time. <laughs>